Hey everybody, what's up? We're back again with some more train FIBA today. Um, I've had some time to think about it and I have a plan going forward for what I would like to do, or at least next. Um all this strange chugging along will look from this perspective like God. And I decided that I really don't know, ever since they changed a few things, how much uh, debt I can actually go into. So, uh, we're just going to keep building train lines and bus lines in the hopes of uh, actually making some money without going into terrible, terrible debt and bankrupting. So, without further ado, we should really start looking. Um, I also noticed since I play slower than I normally do, uh, recording for you guys, it's actually giving me more time to enjoy trains. Like, we don't get the next train until 1863, uh, or 62, something like that. So, we have to figure out things to do in that time. Like, grow our empire through debt! Amazing debt! Um, and there's the guy having a whole bunch of problems again with this actually pretty long train for such a weak engine. So what we'll do is figure out the next part of the line we would like to do. Uh, let's see, so now we're oriented kind of correctly with where we were before. I'm thinking we try and make Lime Regis, Limey Regis, since it's north of this mountain, this little mountain range here, and the river below, um, into a kind of a passenger hub. Like, sail kind of sucks, but uh, Brampton needs a train line uh, connecting it. That's fairly short, only one city. Eh. But, like, wow, actually. Um, I'm trying to think about how would it be good to plan this. Efficiency out the window, of course. Uh, would it be better to go for... Well, we could connect Limey here to Shidon. But I have a feeling that might actually be better going through Ashburton while Lime Regis goes to Sheffield and then to Rod Hardling and Ellesmere Port. If we could just do this loop. Well, we don't have to necessarily do loop. We can come, you know, through. we're not going through the mountain again. That was too expensive. We'll come through like over here, past this farm, skirting the mountainside. It'd be a lovely scenic route. Uh, we'll come up from Shefford, up to here, up, skirting this mountainside, through to here. We'll come back around, out over to here, into Ellesmere, and then we'll come back around this mountain, skirting it back into Shefford, before we head back to Limey Regis. I think that would be a fairly good... Um, Shelford being already a large city would be a fairly interesting, fairly good uh, but expensive route, train route. So what we should do first is also with Brampton is start our bus lines and we'll see how long I feel like talking like this before I get tired of it. Um, so we need some passenger stops and money, money, we need money that's, you know, fairly important. So let's do this one, and we'll put this one. And then we kind of need a depot, which we shall put about, yeah. And we'll do some stagecoaches from, yeah, into a new route called, yeah, I forget what this is called, uh, Brampton. So we'll call it as tradition demands Brampton bus transit. There we go. And they're on their way. Mm, yes, okay. Ness bus line we'll be doing in Shefford. Shefford needs passenger stops. We'll put one near this four way, that'll cover a whole bunch of area. Put this one at this four way. Uh, that'll cover a whole bunch of area. You guys down here, you're just screwed. And then a depot. Um, I feel like we should put the depot over here so the screwed people can see it coming and going and not realize that. And then be very tearfully sad when they realize that they can't use the service. So this is Shefford. Shefford. 
if Ford bus transits. Alright, here we got a bus stop there and a bus stop there. So, take off, me horses! This pony show here. Okay, Shepherd's going. That's good. Halda high. Had Hadley. <laughs> Halda high. Hadley. Uh, we'll put one somewhere in this junction here that covers a much of the city. And we'll put one down here. It seems to be expanding that way. And then we get another depot. And we put that right. Meow. And buy some more stagecoaches for this pony show we got going on right meow. And we set the line to a new line. Hardly. Bus transit. Hmm. Hardly, not headlight. But bus transit. What it? What is going on here with my typing at the moment? I feel like headlight, Miller light, bus, and I started spelling Bud as in Budweiser, Bud Light, which is just terrible. But hey. Um, there we go. Stagecoaches are a go. We haven't spent that much money, but these towns can start getting some decent flipping uh, passenger services going. Else, mayor. That's. That and we're actually going to do a three first because it's city spread out a bit more than usual. Uh, everybody's building in certain areas. Although it looks like they may have destroyed a few things. Why is construction not possible? There, construction is possible. Don't tell me what's not possible. Unless it's you know not in the mechanics of the game. Um. Yeah, we'll just start you out with three else, man. Fine, fine, fine. Ellis, man. Bus transit. There we go. And you will go to here, here, and here. And never use those roads. That town is actually. Point of interesting. Set them all to Elslayer Bus Transit. I bet. This city on the hill is actually kind of interesting because from a top, you can't tell the height difference really. And you're like, why the hell is it like that? But you come down lower, you realize it's because there's a height section of Elslayer. This is where the rich fancy folks live. Kind of like um, some other type of heights in a city. All the lowly people live down here by the factories, the barbarians. And then the middle class people, you know, or, well, the barbarians, the lower class, live here. While the middle class live along the mountains so they can one day try and look up to the rich people of the town. It's a very classful society, meaning that social classes mean a lot in Elsmere. Not like some of your more uh, liberal towns where everybody's on the same level or, God forbid, same geographical height. Oh, dearie me. Um, more peasants moving in. As you move up to the second ground here, you start to see the richest of the rich. Um, because up here is just kind of boring because the flattens out again. But what you like is this cliff here in the middle of town where you can look down and be like, Oh, hoity-toity, look at all the little people down there. Uh, so, and, and there's this nice vegetable store, Black Rock Vegetables, right here. It's so convenient to be at the end of the street that just empties into nothing that all the rich people really, really like living up there. Like, look at that house. It's a flippin' mansion for back in 1856. But it's just beautiful, these houses. Oh, look at that. That almost looks halfway modern. Guess what? And floating chairs and tables, how much would that have cost back in 1856? Seven, damn it. We just turned over to a new year. How much would that have cost? It must have been a ridiculous sum to be able to get levitation. They must have spoken with and bought and spoken with Nikola Tesla. Oh my gosh! Well, as you can see, those don't ever take quite as high as that one, so they got the reduced cheaper model. They don't have as much money. It's okay. Um... 
They're still good people. Uh, but look, floating benches, too. It almost makes me think that somehow the game doesn't conform to different height terrains very well. Anywho, moving on. Uh, we need to get a train line going from Brampton to Limey Regis. It probably would be best if we had the switch somewhere in a this Woodley area. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to put it after this odd piece of road. Did I build that? I don't think I did. It looks like something I would do, though. Uh, well, a transfer... We're just... Okay, fine. Max speed ahead! Transfers sometimes do take up quite a bit to, you know, get going. Uh, okay, we're getting turned pretty good here. And we're almost straightened out to where I would like to be. Uh, let's see, do a train station. I think this will be the end of this branch line. So... We could put an end line here. Uh, what the heck is the bl going on with the stu- Oh, it's a hill. Oh my gosh, it's a rather excitable hill too. Uh, we will put it, I guess, facing outward like this. Uh, d wow, money. Uh, unable to align to terrain. Unable to align to the terrain. And wow, a lot of money, but we'll do it. Um... Holy crap, that's a lot of money. And a hill we've got to, like, tear through now to get to. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I didn't think that one through very much, did I, laddie? Now I've gone Scottish. Oh, shit, we're turning into a tunnel. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta learn how to build a little bit. Okay, we, we, come, we came through... <laughs> There's a tunnel right before this friggin' station, which means, oh boy, adding tracks to that's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> well, we'll come to that bridge or tunnel when we come to it. Holy crap, that's gonna be fun in the future. Hopefully I have money in the future, though. Oh my gosh, just this little line's costing all of my loan. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, this is devastating right here. Is what that is? Okay, let's get... We're gonna do more of this shenanigans because putting two-way rails in is gonna be expensive at the moment. And that's an expense we can't afford to have. Um... Wow, where should we put this train depot? Because this is a freaking hill right here. Um... I guess we'll put it here so the lovely road goers can see it and we'll put on a depot a train depot right there. oh shit um maybe we block it back a little bit yeah we block it back a little bit and then we tidy up and then we put the train depot there okay look it's perfect all right now we are putting a line from there to that man that station's getting busy um Maybe we should bump it up to two lines, especially if we get, or two tracks, especially if we get that other branch going. So we'll call it the Brompton Limey Ridges. Brompton Limey Ridges. Okay. Good, except now I have no money for a train. <laughs> Actually, this is probably one of the flattest freaking train lines we've got at this point. Oh yeah, we better actually like connect this to a street network and put a station here. Too much slope. Uh, who are you to say there's too much slope? Aw, oh, man. Alright, better borrow some more money so we can make money and oh my gosh, that road. <laughs> it's a speed bump. It's a safety feature I just put into this town. There better be a one house that will use it. Better be appreciative of it. Doesn't even look like a house, it looks like a business. Put the chest into the ground. It is food, drinks, herbs, corner house, restaurants. 